Hello! In this video we're going to be looking at probability measures, axiom, and some properties. And um, I've noticed in tutoring people that this is often where things start getting a little intimidating, but don't be worried. Even though, you know, people always say, Anna, I've, this is totally different than what we've been doing. What is going on? I'm going to show you some tricks and I'm going to show you that it's not so different. So you can totally do this if you find yourself a little bit lost in any of the things that I'm covering in this video. Look at some of the previous videos. In this section, especially, you're going to want to be paying attention to Venn diagrams, uh, combinations, permutations, and things like that. But let's go ahead and you're going to see that these next couple chapters are just about putting stuff that you already know together in a slightly different way. So this roughly corresponds to section 3.1, Probability Measures, Axioms, and Properties in the book Finite Mathematics by Daniel P. Mackey and Maynard Thompson. Um, I'm going to be going through one of the problems that was recommended by one of the instructors. This is problem 21. And um, what we're going to do first, well, we're going to read the problem. So let's start with that. Each Monday, a student attends mathematics class with a probability of 0.6, skips accounting class with a probability of 0.3, and attends both with a probability of 0.5. Find the probability that she attends at least one class on Monday. So this seems pretty crazy. You know, there's all these decimals and stuff. It's not so bad. When I'm seeing problems like this, the first thing I think is a Venn diagram. So. I think I'm getting ahead of myself though. Let's do the very first thing I always like to do, which is write down what we know. So reading the problem, I see a couple of things. And let's go ahead and write those down, shall we? So we know that there is a 0.6 or 60% chance that they go or she goes to math. Whoops, let's make that a little cleaner. There we go. And there is a 0.33 or 30% chance that she skips accounting. And there's a 0.5 or 50% chance she goes to both. And I'm using go instead of attend because I'm lazy. Good math is the lazy math. You want to find the easiest way to do this. And I think when I start thinking about problems like this, I start thinking Venn diagrams. So let's go ahead and uh, start by drawing out a Venn diagram and seeing what we can put down that we know. So the first thing is we're going to draw our Venn diagram. I'm trying to leave myself some room to work. So there's only two things. There's math. And let's go ahead and label these. This is math. This is accounting. And this bit in the middle, I'm not going to label it, but that's both. So when you have that kind of overlap, it's both. And another thing to remember is when you're talking about percentages, everything equals 1 or 100%. You know, either I go to math or I don't go to math, but math still exists. So it's 100%. So the point I'm trying to make there is that your universe is always equal to 1. Universe is always equal to 1. That doesn't mean you could just add all the numbers that we've already gotten in equal 1, but when you get everything set up properly, things should start equaling 1. So I'll show you how we're going to use that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and do some color coding and uh, make some plans. Okay, so for, let's see, for math, I'm going to color math blue. Uh, a little light blue, maybe make it a little happier. And uh, so there's math. I'm having fun with my colors here. And for counting, we're going to do a nice red. Again, a little lighter. And then for both, we're going to do purple. And this might seem a little silly, but once you see what I'm doing, I'm hoping it will make some sense. So both is here in the middle, and that's purple. So let's go ahead and go back to uh, labeling all this stuff. and. Let's label what we know on our Venn diagram here. So first and foremost, I'm just trying to get my pen the right size. We know this bit in the middle, that's 50% or 0.5. We know that. They give us that, right? Actually, I wanted to put that so I could do some coloring later because I get a little crazy with my color in here. So this bit right here in the middle, that's 0.5. What else do we know? Well, we know the chance that she goes to math, which is all of, let's see, I think I want to do it there. And I want to make sure you can see this. The chance that she goes to math, which isn't just this stuff here that I'm doing in blue. No, 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 no. The chance that she goes to math is all of this, including this purple area. So that's important to realize. When we're talking about the chance that she goes to math at all, that's all of that. So all of that, all together, that is 0.6. 
so 0.6, and the chance that she skips accounting. And so here's where things also get a little bit crazy. So when they say she's skipping accounting, that's an that is a complement, right? We should remember this. And so that means everything I'm coloring in red right now, right? That is where the chance that she is in that area is. And so I'm just going to label it um, out here, but please r realize that that includes stuff that's in math. Anything that's not accounting is a 0.3 or 30 percent chance. So those are the three bits of information that we we were given. And then the universe equaling 1 or 1.00 is information that we figured out or that we just know. You should know that. Um, if you didn't know before, now you do. Play with it, get used to it, it's not so bad. And so let's go ahead and figure out what we need. Well, what we need is, is kind of a fun question here, and that's what you always want to start out figuring out. So I'm going to make this you know, bright orange, and what do we need? Well, we need the chance that she goes to class at all. And so that's everything I'm coloring in orange here. That's the chance that she just goes to accounting, the chance that she just goes to math, or the chance that she goes to both. And so, you know, you're like, okay, well, we know, we know some stuff. Let's just start adding stuff together. We got to remember the overlap problem. So let's start simple and let's figure out the chance that she just goes to math. And so I'm going to circle that in this bright blue. We want to find this part. It kind of looks like Pac-Man taking a bite out of the other, the accounting class here. We want to figure out that. And so we know that the total chance that she goes to math, including the chance that she goes to accounting that same day, is 0.6. And we know that the chance that she goes to both is 0.5. So if we if we were to subtract 0.6 or 0.5 from 0.6, we would get 0.1. And that is the chance that she just went to math. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay? So now we know this blue Pac-Man area. Well, what would be handy next? Well, I'm going to do this one in uh, bright red. What we want to know is the chance that she just went to accounting, right? We don't want to overlap, but here's the problem. We don't even know the total chance that she went to accounting. We know the complement, but how do we figure that out? So let's go ahead and do figure that out. So 1, which is the total chance that accounting exists. We know accounting exists. The question is, did she go? 1 minus 0.3, which is the chance that she didn't go to accounting, equals 0.7. Okay. And the other way to think about this is 0.3 plus the chance that she goes equals 1. And, and you just do the math from there. It ends up being 100% chance that accounting exists, whether we like it to or not. You subtract the 30% chance that she skipped, and that gives you 0.7. And that is, I'm going to do kind of the same thing we did with math here. That gives you this whole thing. So, you know, you got to realize, and I'm just going to overdraw for a second, that's everything, including the chance that she went to both. And so, just like in the other problem, we want to figure out just this Pac-Man shape, right? We just want to figure out this bit right here. And so, let's go ahead and figure that out. It's going to look really sim similar to the math problem. So, let's do that. So, just the same way we did this, what's the chance she only goes to math? We're going to find out the chance that she only went to accounting. And so, we know there is a 0.7 chance that she went to accounting at all. We know that there is a 0.5 chance that she went to both classes, so that means that the chance that she only went to accounting is 0.2. Okay, so I'm going to go up here, and just like in math, we're going to go ahead and label this 0.2, and uh, now all we have to do is we have to add these values together, and let's go ahead and highlight what we're going to add together. We're going to add together this math bit, right here. We're going to add together this accounting bit right here. And then we're going to add together this center bit, which is the chance that she went to both. And so we have all those numbers. We figured all those numbers out. So that is 0.5. That is the chance that she went to both, plus the chance that she just went to math, which is 0.1, plus the chance that she just went to accounting. That's 0.2. And this ends up e equaling 0.8, or a 80% chance that she went to at least one class on Monday. And so that is our answer. So let's uh, let's zoom out, scroll back up, and kind of talk about what we did here, okay? So let's see. The first thing I did, and what I always do, 
is I wrote everything down. And that's what we did right here. We wrote down all the information they gave us. Then we wrote down the things that we just knew, which is this universe equals one. When you're talking about probabilities and you're thinking Venn diagrams, you should always know that your, your probabilities equal one. Then we drew our Venn diagram. We drew our two circles, our two different options. And then we labeled everything. That's what we did here and here and here and here. And using what we were given, which is this information right here, we figured out the stuff that we didn't know, which is, you know, what's the chance that she just went to math class? Or what's the chance that she didn't skip accounting and she went to accounting class? Okay? And then we figured out what's the chance that she just went to accounting class. Then we added all that stuff up and we got our answer. So this is just a Venn diagram with some slightly different numbers. Do some more practice. I think you'll find it not as scary as it seems at first glance.